and welcome back to another news break. Uh, you are here with your girl, Lady L, and I got a phenomenal guest um, out of Pottstown, y'all, <laughs> by way of Harrisburg. So listen up. Um, our guest today is Justin Coleman, who is an influencer and an innovator um, here in our community. So um, Justin, welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Look, um, I want to just take a moment uh, just to introduce yourself, um, who you are, what you do, and why do you do it? Sure, sure. So my name's Justin Coleman. I'm originally from Pottstown, Pennsylvania. I reside now in the Harrisburg area. And uh, my background has really been finance, um, housing, and I'm just someone that's passionate about the community and passionate about helping others. You know, I live by the saying, we're all blessed to be a blessing to others. You know, whatever way that is, through your, your time, your talent, whatever God has blessed you with. And um, that's what really drives me and keeps me motivated. Awesome. Awesome. So um, what kind of projects do you have going on currently um, sure. that people can get involved with? So right now, the biggest project is we started a company a few years ago called For You. And For You is an app that is live on the uh, Apple Store as well as the Google Store for Android users. And the purpose of the app is in order to help people find multicultural businesses that are in your area. Uh, so this is my latest project. The way we came up with it is me and my wife, my fiance at the time, were looking for a marriage counselor a few years ago. And we went to Google and we typed in African-American marriage counselor because we wanted somebody that could relate to our culture, our background. And the results that we got back from that search really just weren't fitting. And I said, you know, we need to do something about this because I'm sure other people are having this issue. All the time I see people on Facebook, you know, I'm looking for a Latino restaurant or I'm looking for an African-American person to come clean my house. Or, you know, people like to support their, their own because we people can buy and relate from people that we can associate with. And I said, you know, we need to do something about this. So why don't we create an app where we can connect multicultural businesses with the consumer. And that's what our app for you is all about. You know, you can log on, it's free for consumers, free for businesses, and it's a multicultural app. So we have six different ethnicity uh, groups on there that you can identify with. And um, you can search for, you know, the type of multicultural business that you're looking for. Um, so that's the latest project that we're working on and that we've launched. Oh my goodness, that is so exciting. Yes, yes. Well. How, I mean, all right, so I, I know how you got, you know, how you came up with this idea, right? But I, when you talked about you being in finance and, and everything like that, how did you go from finance to tech? Yeah, great question. So I've always been an entrepreneur. Both my parents were entrepreneurs. Um, my dad is a musician. My mom was a beautician for many years, and it's kind of been in my blood. And right out of school, I started in finance, uh, financial advising. I worked for a Fortune 500 company. And um, that was really entrepreneurship, you know, because when, you, when, you're, when you're in finance and you're helping people with retirement planning or preparing for their children's education, it's a commission-based career. So basically, I didn't get paid unless I found clients that I could help. Um, so right out of college, I was all, all, already engulfed in the entrepreneurial industry, an entrepreneurial field. So that's always been on the top of my mind. Um, so, you know, we had this issue a few years ago. I said, well, you know, instead of just sitting here and not doing anything about it, why don't we try to create an app? I really have no tech background. <laughs> I've never created an app before, but I'm just somebody that has a lot of drive. So I was able to get connected to an a, uh, app designer. Um, you know, he's helped me do this, this whole process. And, um, you know, a couple years later, here we are. So that's phenomenal. That that really is. And you know what, I love that, even though you don't necessarily have like, you know, your college degree in tech or anything like that, like, it's just like, well, I have this idea. Yeah. Um, let me get people around me that have different skill sets that can help support this idea and help it to grow and be a thing, right? So now it's going from an idea in your head, regard, regardless of if you got this tech degree or not. Exactly. You, know, you was like, oh, it need to happen. Yeah. Let's make yeah. it happen. Yeah. And I really think it can help people and bring exposure to multicultural businesses because small businesses really are, are the backbone of this country. You know, they employ more people than a lot of these larger companies do. 
So it's important that they can, especially through this pandemic, you know, a lot of small minority businesses have shut down. Um, so it's important that, you know, we can keep small businesses going, keep employing people and, and keep these businesses connected to consumers. So I really feel that, you know, now is really a opportune time uh, for our app. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. It is. It's, it's prom- you are right on time. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think that's awesome because, like you said, we're we're looking to work together. We're looking to support. Um, I know a lot of conversations historically is like, well, how long does um, a dollar stay in the black community? Mm-hmm. And yeah. I think that with with stuff like your app, this will help us to keep money in our own communities. Yeah. Um, and also with finding and supporting black business. Um, and this is a conversation that I do enjoy having and I hope you do, too. But this, is, this leads to the democratization of finance, right? Yeah. This is how we're able to get money into smaller businesses so that they can then hire the people in our communities who need those employment opportunities. Yeah. Right. Because I don't I don't know the last time Bank of America did a, a hire a job fair in in Southwest in Southwest Philadelphia or or anything like that, you know? Yeah. yeah. It is so true. And I learned that coming out of finance. When I was in, in finance, you know, the industry is dominated by mid-age white males. You know, and the problem with that is, as I said earlier, people tend to buy and associate with people that they can relate to. So, you know, there's a lot of things in the Black community that we're not up on is because nobody has really come into our community and taught us these things. My own parents, they were my first client when I was in finance. And they had a life insurance policy that was going to, that they've been paying on for years that was going to expire when they turned 70 and they had no idea, you know, and I think it was because they couldn't relate to their agent, their life insurance agent. So what you said is so key because people tend to to associate and and purchase from people that they can relate to. So it's so important that we can connect, you know, these small businesses to the consumer. Right, exactly. And I mean, that goes into another conversation um, about just uh, the hood, right? And we literally had a conversation about the hood, giving back to the hood and, elevating it so that, you know, more people can essentially level up. Right. Um, and so how, how do we give back to those communities? Right. And I think that this is a great, a great way to, to kind of begin doing that. Um, Mm -hmm. you yourself, you have a degree in finance. So now I know that there's this, this black man who's in finance that now I know I can go to and ask questions that Mm -hmm. now I know I can go to and, and, and bounce these ideas off of. Right. So, but in our hood, if you've never seen a black finance guy, you don't even know that finance is a thing. You just think that finance is the money that you got saved in your PNC bank account. And that's, that is the, the length of your financial literacy. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, listen, so tell us about what's on this app. What can people find on this app? You talked about um, the diversity. There's uh, five different ethnicities. Um, yeah. So how how do if I am a consumer, what can what am, what can I see? What can I do with the app? Sure. So if you're a consumer, you can um, download the app from the Apple store. So if you're an iPhone user, you're going to search for you company um, on the Apple store. And if you're an Android user, you're going to search for you comp. And that's the number for the letter U comp. Um, you can go on, sign up as a user. You can identify with the ethnicity group that you belong to, whether that's African-American, Latino, um, Asian, whatever your ethnicity group is. And then once you register and have an account, you can start searching for um, minority owned businesses that are in your area. So the big thing is the search feature. You know, you're able to find businesses that you're looking for. In addition to that, though, you can also leave reviews for these businesses. So we try to incorporate, you know, some of those Yelp features into our app. And you can also get coupons from some of these businesses. So when businesses sign up, we want them to offer some type of coupon or discount to entice consumers to sign up. So we're trying to incorporate that Groupon feel as well into our app. We really want to make it the one-stop shop for people to go. Um, so as a consumer, you can do all these things, leave reviews, search for these minority owned businesses, these ethnic businesses, and you can also um, grab some coupons while you're on the app as well. Um, as a business, if you're a business owner, you can sign up for the app as well. Identify with one of the ethnicity groups is free for you as a business too, and uh, make yourself available for, for these consumers to search and find you. Um, so that's really the concept behind it and how it works. 
So we just kind of gone through our pilot phase and, and we're launching this throughout uh, Pennsylvania now. And the way we plan on doing this is we have this business expo that's coming up in a few weeks, actually two weeks from now, May 21st and May 22nd. We're doing a virtual business expo, it's over two days, where we're inviting small business owners to attend. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna give these business owners exposure to our app, tell them more about it. But at the same time, we're providing content to the businesses that attend. We have six different sessions we're gonna be doing on, you know, how do you manage your risk? How do you gain new clients? How can you raise money for your business? All topics that, you know, small business owners really need help with. And we partner with a lot of uh, community organizations. So we have Harrisburg University that's on board, Central Penn College, um, uh, BB&T Bank. So we have a lot of community support with this event as well. So not only are we providing these sessions for people that attend, but we're also gonna allow um, three businesses to pitch for $2,500. So we're doing like a mini Shark Tank um, during this, this virtual business expo. So, you know, we hope people are excited about this. Um, you know, we're, we're bringing exposure to our app, but at the same time, we're pouring back into the community through these educational sessions. We're gonna be providing to the businesses through this, this $2,500, one business will win. And then I have a thousand dollars worth of gift cards that we're giving away as well from we're going into the community, we're going into minority owned ethnic businesses and we're purchasing gift cards to support these businesses. And these are gonna be used as giveaways throughout the event. So um, we're encouraging people to register for this. Um, I can definitely provide you the link. We have our Facebook page, we have a Facebook page up where you'll be able to register. Registration will be open early next week. Um, but, but this is how we really plan on launching the app, bringing exposure to it, but also giving back at the same time. Oh my goodness, that is phenomenal, Justin. That is awesome. And I actually, I, uh, I, I did download the app. So I am looking forward to signing uh, the Culture Professional Network up uh, for the app. Um, but this is great. This is right, right on board. Um, so, so thus far, um, what have you rolled this out into any other cities or any other like um, soft uh, rollouts for other communities? Central PA is the first. Central PA is going to be the first. We're really targeting Harrisburg, Lancaster, and York in this first rollout. And we really have to be strategic in how we do this because, you know, I don't want to get to the point where we have a thousand businesses and 10 users or vice versa, a thousand users and 10 businesses because it doesn't work. So the way we plan on scaling our app and, and growing it is through these business expos. You know, we, we're, we're doing this first one here in Central PA. Uh, we're hoping it can become successful. And then we want that to be the model. We want to fill it off your next. And we want to do the same business expo there. And we want this to be the model across the country of how we really grow and, and scale the app. Awesome. Awesome. And now you talked about um, some of a component of this being virtual. So yeah. then do the businesses come from those individual like communities or areas? For the expo? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yes, the expo is going to be virtual. Friday, it starts at one. So we're going one to five on Friday and then Saturday we're going 10 to two. Um, so there'll be an Eventbrite link that we'll have out early next week where people can sign up and register for the virtual expo. Um, and it's free. It's free to attend. So it doesn't cost you anything as a business. Our keynote, I, I forgot to mention this gentleman as well. His name's Lionel Douglas. Um, and he is a retired Hollywood actor. He was actually the first African-American big bird on Sesame Street. Uh, <laughs> professional dancer, um, author, artist. He's a dynamic entrepreneur, has a dynamic background. So I think he can provide a lot of motivation to you know a lot of our small business owners. And he's gonna be our keynote Friday at 4 p.m. Again, his name's Lionel Douglas. You can Google him, um, dynamic individual. He he's, uh, was Danny Glover's double for years. So he played in all the Lethal Weapon movies, Beloved, uh, Angels in the Outfield, just a dynamic individual. So we're excited to have him as our keynote speaker for this virtual event. Wow. And I'm, I'm thinking about those movies and I'm, I'm thinking about the name and I, 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 I can picture who you're talking about. So I'm like even more excited. This is going to be awesome. So yeah. as we wrap up, um, how do you feel? How do you feel about taking this idea of this, this app to um, connect consumers and business how do you feel now that you're kind of at your 
your that end phase, right? Like you started with it before it wasn't even a physical thing. It was mm-hmm. just an idea. And now it is a physical thing that millions of people can go ahead and download onto their devices. So how do you feel? I'm excited. I'm really excited about it. We have a lot of uh, community support around it. Um, extremely excited. I'm just hoping that our, our business owners take advantage of it. You know, I'm really uh, plug into it. Um, so that's that's the thing. We're trying to do as much marketing as we, we can. We don't have a huge marketing budget. We're not a Facebook or these major corporations. So we're really hoping, you know, that these small businesses, especially in Lancaster, Harrisburg, York, will really sign up, really uh, take advantage of this and, and, and help us take this, this, this application to the next level. And we're excited because we really think it could make an impact, you know, both in, in the lives of small businesses and in, in a consumer that may be looking to connect. With, with a particular business. So we're excited about the impact that this app can have as well. So we just have a lot of energy right now and, and, and we're very excited. Yep, yep, I can dig it, I can dig it. Um, impact is like one of our words over here at TCP. We got a, um, one of our members like, he is doing a campaign called What Bad Impact Do. Nice. So, <laughs> so yeah, so um, congratulations, Justin. Uh, congratulations on the app, congratulations on the wedding. Um, congratulations on the pitch competition. Um, so again, uh, tell people how they can register for the pitch competition, please. Sure. The easiest way to register is to sign up for the app. Everybody who signs up for the app will get a uh, official registration from us. Again, if you're using an iPhone, you're going to search for you company from the app store. If you're using the Android, you can search for you comp from the app store. Um, if you're interested in pitching, you want to send me an email. Uh, my email address is jcoleman at foryoucomp.com. So that's jcoleman at foryoucomp.com. And that's the letter for number you comp. Um, and if you send me an email, you want to pitch, just tell me, you know, what, what's your, the name of your business, where are you located, and 250 words or less, what would you do with the $2,500? And, uh, you know, we'll get back to you and uh, hopefully you have the opportunity to win that $2,500. Awesome. Awesome. (laughs) Justin, thank you so much for joining us this morning on TCP in the morning. Listen, brother, I look forward to having you back on the show. I hope this is not the last time that you join us. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what's going on with this ad. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. All right, guys, listen, stay tuned for more TCP in the morning, brought to you by Penny.com.